everyone hope you're all staying healthy and safe thank you all so very much for supporting my channel if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel and if this video helps you please consider giving it a thumbs up as well in column B over here if I would like to move this or make it smaller column uh, you'll notice that the 2016 part went away which is not deleted however it just got covered because of smaller column size so in order to avoid that what I like to do is move it to a second line however if I place my um, selection cell selection over here and hit enter the cell selection moves to the second uh, row which uh, is not uh, what I would like to do however if I double click uh, in front of 2 of 2016 and press option and press enter or return it moves to uh, the 2016 moves to the second line which is a line break for the cell so similarly I would like to do same thing um, for cell C3 option and enter and this moves to the second cell and now if I move this uh, if I move the column uh, size to make it smaller the 2016 is still visible um, same thing over here if I double click it it automatically moves to the size where uh, everything is visible I'll do the same thing over here uh, I double click right here in between the column B and C so this line break is very useful in case of addresses as well so here uh, if I move this again it's it's kind of visible right now however if there was something over here uh, for example A B C D E the last portion of the addresses are not visible so what I like to do is uh, move these to the second line so double click in front of uh, C and then hit press option and press return together so same thing over here let's do for um, D5 and then D6 Let's do the same for D7 and D8 as well. Now, uh, if I double click between D and E, this uh, the column size changes to include everything uh, within its borders. Um, so the um, key combination is option plus return or enter. And this is uh, similar for, so I'm currently doing this for Mac and for Windows, it will be Alt plus Enter. So, so we can do line break as well as paragraph breaks using option plus return for Mac and then Alt, for en Alt plus Enter for Windows. Hope this video helps you all. If this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if there are any comments or suggestions, please feel free to write it on uh, under the comment section and also if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel thank you all so very much y'all have a good day bye bye